come to see me first You don't ever come to me You don't ever come to me All she ever says is come and see me first Me for me first You don't ever come to me You don't ever come to me Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. Hope you all are having a wonderful day. Today's tutorial is gonna be on this soft pink cut crease look. I really hope you all enjoy it. If you do, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. As always, all the product information will be listed in the description box as well. So let's just go ahead and get started. All right loves, so I already have my foundation on. So the first thing I'm gonna do as always is prime my crease to brow bone area using my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Fawn. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and set that with the powder. And I'm making sure to blend the concealer all the way up to my brows, right up underneath them. And I'm just gonna set that with my Sasha Buttercup setting powder. And this is just gonna help the shadows glide on smoothly and blend seamlessly. For this eye look, I'm gonna be using the Coastal Scents 252 palette as well as the Juvia's Place Masquerade palette. The first color I'm gonna pick up is gonna be from the Coastal Scents 252 palette. It is the warm brown color that I love to use in my transition area. And I'm gonna pick that up on a Morphe E27 brush and just blend that all in my crease and above. Next, I'm gonna outline my cut crease using the dark brown shade from the Coastal Scents 252 palette and my Morphe M326 brush. And as always, I'm gonna draw that crease line slightly above my crease. That way it's still visible even when I'm looking straight ahead. This is something you wanna do if you have hooded eyes or you just don't have a lot of lid space to work with. And as I reach the outer third of my eye, I'm going to curve that crease line upward. I just feel like this is a really flattering shape for people with hooded eyes and it's just cute. Now I'm gonna grab my Morphe E27 brush and that same light brown shade we used first and I'm just gonna blend all over that cut crease we created. I'm now going to go back in with the black and brown shades from the Coastal Scents 252 palette and my Morphe M326 brush and redefine that cut crease. And I'm just blending that out a little bit as I go. Using mostly brown but a little bit of black as well. I'm now going to pick up that dark brown shade on a Morphe E36 brush and further blend out that cut crease. With the Morphe E17 brush, I'm gonna pick up this pink shade and blend that over the cut crease and slightly above. I'm then gonna go back in with that warm brown shade on a Morphe E27 brush and just blend all those colors together. Next, I'm gonna carve out my crease area using my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color Fawn. This is gonna really cut the crease and it's gonna be a really good base for our eyeshadows. Next, I'm gonna pick up this rose gold color from the Coastal Scents 252 palette on a flat brush, and I'm gonna place that all the way from the inner eye corner to about the center of my eyelid. Next, I'm gonna go in with this coppery shade on the same flat brush, and I'm gonna work from the center of the eye towards the inner eye corner. I'm now gonna pick up this gorgeous pink color from the Juvia's Place Masquerade palette, and I'm gonna place that all in the outer third of my eye, making sure to blend it with the other colors that are on the lid. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Jessie's Girl Liquid Eyeliner, and I'm just gonna give myself a winged eyeliner. For my lower lash line, I'm gonna go in with my Morphe M326 brush and the dark brown shadow from the Coastal Sets 252 palette. I'm also gonna go in with that pink shade we used in our transition area and place that on the lower lash line as well. 
And then with the Morphe M506 brush, I'm gonna blend that warm brown shade all on the lower lash line as well. And with the tip of the Morphe M326 brush, I'm gonna create a new inner eye corner. I'm gonna highlight my inner eye corner using the rose gold shade from the Coastal Sense 252 palette. And I'm gonna use a Morphe M156 brush to do that. I'm now gonna apply falsies and some mascara. With this silver glitter liner I picked up from the beauty supply store, I'm going to apply it to my inner eye corner. Alright guys, so the eyes are done. I'm now going to finish up the rest of my face. I'm going to start by cleaning up my under eye area using my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color Fawn and I'm just going to blend that out with a damp beauty sponge. I'm also going to highlight the rest of my face using whatever is left on the beauty blender and the brush. I'm now going to set my face with my Sasha Buttercup setting powder. I'm now going to contour my face using the brown powder from the City Color Brow Palette. I'm now going to dust off the excess powder and then buff my face with my Black Radiance Soft Focus Finishing Powder in Milk Chocolate. To bring some warmth back into my face, I'm going to bronze my face using my CoverGirl Queen Ebony Bronzer and I'm going to bronze the hollows of my cheeks and around the perimeter of my face. For highlight, I'm going to go in with the City Color Highlight Trio and I'm going to use the middle shade right here. For blush, I'm going to be using this shade right here from the e.l.f. blush palette in dark. For lips, I'm first going to line the perimeter of my lips with the dark brown lip liner from Ruby Kisses. And then I'm going to line the center of my lips with the Expresso lip liner from Ruby Kisses. I'm then going to go in with Touchable Taupe from Maybelline. And then I'm going to apply the NYX Butter Gloss in the color Praline over top. And lastly, for some shimmer, I'm going to apply this e.l.f. Shimmer Lip Gloss in the color Believe. And I'm going to apply that just in the center of my lips. To finish this look up, I'm going to set my face with my NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. Alright loves, that completes this tutorial. I really hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and please remember to subscribe if you are not subscribed already. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, have a terrific day.